car part prices keep rising and tariff hikes are making it worse. So the solution? 3D print your own car parts. And with today's capable 3D printers, you'll be surprised on what you can actually print. So our first car part in need of replacement is this shift boot frame cover. And after the recent price hikes, this part can cost over 50 bucks. And it looks like it's 3D printed too. So after a bit of Google searching, we actually found a pretty decent 3D model of the shifter boot. And so we're gonna download this part and we're gonna bring it into our 3D printed software to see how much it would take in materials to print this out. Now what's really cool with the software is that you can actually come in to your filament and you can actually edit the price that it costs for a spool of filament. We're using ASA filament, which is great because it's UV resistant and it can withstand the hot heat from anything shining in from the dashboard. For a spool of that is usually about $30. So we can change that price for our particular filament and we can go ahead and say, save it. Now we can prepare our part or what's called slice our part into something that our 3D printer will recognize and we can get a good idea of how much this part's gonna cost. Here, it shows that it, it's only gonna cost 33 cents. So let's print it out and see if it actually works. And if you wanna learn the basics of 3D printing along with which filament is best, we have a full video series you can check out in the description along with access to our newsletter where we'll send you tons of other tips and tricks. So the shifter knob will come through here and there'll be some extra material at the bottom buffering this in place. And this clip will actually hold the leather boot cover in place. Wow, pretty good fit. So I know what you're probably thinking and that's how much is the printer gonna cost? Well, before we dive into all the details for the printer setup, let's see how much more money we can save by printing a few other things. Next up are some replacement air vents, which can go for around a hundred bucks brand new. And to our surprise, we found this free 3D design with a custom gauge insert. After dropping it into the 3D modeling software and preparing the print, it looks like the cost for this part will be a grand total of 62 cents. Peel that off and give it a fit. Now that's not the only option you might have. We found this vent gauge with an LCD screen which can show tons more stats, but it's gonna cost you nearly 600 bucks for the gauge and a screen that you could probably buy for less than 50 bucks. So we searched for a similar 3D model, found this version on Yegi, which takes you to Maker World. Now, if you have a Bamboo Lab printer, you can open this file up right in Bamboo Lab Studio, but you could also download the STL file for any other 3D printer you might have. Once loaded and prepped into our 3D printing software, this part came out to 61 cents. So let's see how this one fits. Well, there you go. I mean, that part looks pretty cool as well. We'll have to make another video maybe on how to get the screen working. But how much would it cost for us to print a much bigger part? This is the cassette deck holder. And as you can see, it's, it's not working very well. It's pretty much broken in all kinds of different places. A replacement unit like this can cost up to $200, but we're not gonna be playing cassettes in this project car. So we have something else that we can 3D print that's gonna cost us nearly nothing. This time we searched for a center console 3D model and here's what we found, a pretty impressive replacement model with two built-in trays. And when we dragged this 3D model into our printing software, the part was laying on its side. Now when you slice a part like this, you'll need supports to help hold up all the overhangs as a 3D printer can't print things in mid-air. And here you can see that the part is almost $3.50 to print with a print time of around six hours and 30 minutes. But you can make this even better by going back to prepare and selecting the part. You can then select the lay tool and select the bottom of the 3D model. Slicing the part still requires supports due to the higher tray, but here you can see that we've saved 50 cents in another hour and a half by changing the orientation of the printer. And now, off to the printer the part goes. 
So let's get rid of that guy. Here's a new one. We just have to remove these 3D printed supports. The moment of truth. So I think we're getting pretty close to almost paying for over half of a 3D printer. So let's break the price down. Now we have the X1 Carbon from Bamboo Lab and something like this can cost you around 1500 bucks. But that's because not only can it print filaments like ASA, but it can also print filaments that are carbon or glass infused fibers. But don't worry because you can actually go down to the Bamboo P1S. The nice thing is it's an enclosed printer, which will allow you to still print filaments like ASA and ABS, which is great for interior and some exterior car parts. And you can also upgrade that printer over time. Now that printer is quite a bit cheaper and it'll run you around 800 bucks. So if we crunch the numbers for all of our savings based on what we've already printed, we're nearly halfway to paying for the P1S. But we couldn't help ourselves and we printed one more thing, which is this part. And it's a cup holder for our BMW E30 build. And it replaces this old ugly ashtray. And get these out more supports and it should fit right in like that it fits like a glove I mean it's perfect and then it has these two spots here that will screw into the original holes and I love it it's it's great so far, these 3D printed car parts are coming out pretty good. So I'm gonna show you one last way that you can make enough money to cover the 3D printer, as well as never have to worry about any price hikes or tariff increases again. Now this next car part is something we designed from scratch. This means we can sell the part without worrying about any license restrictions that most of the free models we downloaded earlier have. And this part was made entirely using Shaper 3D modeling software, which can then be exported, uploaded into your 3D printing software, and then 3D printed. And to price our parts, that's where eBay comes in. And to my surprise, you could find quite a bit of BMW E30 car parts for sale, like this radial delete plate. And the way you do that is you can type in the search for a part and you can use the filter in order to select completed items and sold items within the last month or so. This will give you a pretty good idea of how much the car parts are actually selling for that you could potentially print yourselves. Now, because there's a lot of different car parts here that have sold, it's good and it's also bad because that means there's lots of competition. So based on the prices that we're seeing for items that have already sold, I think that we can probably list our custom radio delete plate for $35. But there are also other fees that we'll have to subtract from that $35. eBay likes to take around 13% for any parts for the total price sold. And then we also like to bake in $5 of shipping costs directly into the part price. Now, we're looking at different parts here and there doesn't seem to be a lot of options when it comes to using those common switch plates as far as having the punch outs already available. And we're also going to post a radio delete plate without the hole punches that's using an etched design from our 3D printed bed. And from the looks of it, no one else has that part listed. So you can also add some more to your part that's gonna cost you, such as advertising. So with all the fees and shipping, we're looking at about a 35% of the overall price, meaning that our $35 part, we can maybe make around $25 or so. And then we'll list the other radio delete plate, which with the etched pattern for about $25. And that will make us around say $17. Now, the cool thing is that means that we only have to sell around a dozen of these. Now, if you wanna learn more about custom 3D printing car parts, we have an entire video series that we put together and you can watch that up next right here.